in a universe where life does not end at death. We explore the infinite possibilities forged by our very minds. Welcome to our Thedian Anthologies. Before we get started, I just want to inform you that this series was recorded over Discord. If the quality dips, it's due to connection issues. Greetings, fellow travelers and storytellers. Welcome to a Reborn in Power series, featuring the New Age squad of Chosen. Arak, Sai, Marmaduke 9, and Liam followed their prologue before the events of the New Age campaign and maybe catch some foreshadowing elements along the way. In the eerie silence of the Solar Orbiter, you, Liam, have uncovered certain mysteries about what has occurred on your family's less than fortunate vacation. You learned through the ship's logs, as well as Captain Kratoros and Pilot Hager's personal logs, that something got to Hager's mind, which caused the dominoes to fall. As you watched these logs, your stomach began to rumble, and you knew that the location of all the food is down where the AI told you not to go. But you went anyway, and were able to acquire three nutritions before having to rush back up to avoid the creature lurking in the depths of the vessel. You were able to then fix the comms and discovered that a crucial component is missing from the drive core. Then sounds began erupting from the lift to the freezer below. You now prepare yourself for what is coming. Hiding around the corner, you wait as a sound of shredding metal is heard from beyond the lift doors. Then it, it stops and goes silent. Only your breath remains. When you see the lights down the corridor begin to flicker. Time seems to slow as you watch the light get snuffed out. Each beam flickers three times until they go silent as well. Please roll me a perception check. First roll of the day is going to be the best, right? Let's That's do how it. it works. Yes, that should be it. And it's all down here from there. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> because it's, uh, I rolled a four. Plus, uh, was... Perception. Oh, man, that, that's confusing. Sorry, I, um, wrote my stats wrong. Hmm. It's charisma that I have a negative five, not will. That is true. I don't know, I really screwed up on that. It's int, that's 12. Here, sorry about that. Uh, okay. So, yeah, it's uh, eight. Eight total. Wow. Um, well... Uh, uh, with an eight, you watch the lift door as everything goes dark around you. And suddenly, you begin to hear slams against the door. A 
and it continues to happen over and over again as suddenly you see a plume of gas emanate from beyond the door. And then the darkness begins to lurk around you and you hear whispers begin to appear in the back of your head and you hear and it gets louder and louder and louder until suddenly I would like you to roll me a a discipline will check as the whispers Uh, hit your mind yes uh what kind of check is would that be exactly It, it would be a will Okay, just just a straight will. Uh, yeah. Hey! Uh, oh, you crit? <laughs> yeah, it's crit. What's the total? Um, so that's a uh, sixteen total, right? Yeah, plus four. Yeah. All right, you. As these <laughs> whispers continue to appear in your in in your head, you. You, it, it, it almost feels like something's trying to grab onto your mind and start to kind of tear through it. And then you're, you kind of fight it off as you hear... <laughs> over down the hall. And you see a glowing white light appear and kind of blind you for a second. I would like you to roll me initiative, which is going to be just a d12 plus your agility. Hey That's a uh, 14 total. Oh, yeah, 14 total. Roll the 4 plus 10. 14 total? Okay. <laughs> Don't sound so disappointed. <laughs> uh, as you see um, this thing kind of begin to <laughs> walk forward you, it almost feels like the the ground beneath you is vibrating with each step of whatever this creature is you don't know what it is but you hear the scraping of metal and tearing it it's, it's almost like it's tearing through it and you hear <laughs> and i would like you to make your first attack if you would like or decide to run away if you would like. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about this. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot it. Okay. You can't... Whatever it is. You can't really see exactly what it is but you see all the lights have been uh, have been blacked out. And only like this bright white light that's stemming directly from the chest of whatever this creature is, is like oh, the only light you see, and it's hard to actually make out what they are. You you just know where they are. I'm going to aim for center mass then. Yes. So that's the best place uh, to aim. <laughs> <laughs> Typically. <laughs> So, heavy range. Shoot, I didn't write down what that is. That's uh, agility, right? Yes. Okay. That's uh, 11 plus 10, so 21. 21 to hit. You are you, you go and charge up your weapon and you fire off a shot. Uh, go ahead and roll me some damage. Damage, 2d4. And it will be pl- Ayo, it will be plus those. your heavy range bonus, not not with not with the attribute, but just the bonus, the rank and the talent. Okay. Um, shoot, where's the rank? Well, I'm just gonna rub a dice real quick. Uh, that's a f- four and a one, so five. Getting nice averages. <laughs> a four and a one and. F- so that's five plus your. Do you, you don't have anything in heavy ranged? Uh. I'm trying to. I think I did. Where? It'd be on the first page. Oh, yeah, heavy range. Yeah, that would be one. 
so so six you uh and you're using a tech blaster is that what you're using or yeah tech blaster all right let me check the damage on that yeah i was pulling it up just in yeah. case i missed anything you go and poof, fire off a shot and you see the flash of light go uh, extend out directly towards the bright light that is in front of you and then you see it almost looks like a spark erupts from, from a corner. It looks like you hit its shoulder and it just kind of flings off and begins to actually bounce around inside this corridor. Let's see how many times it actually hits. Because you're, you're, outside, of, you're outside, outside of this little hallway so... You're not in the range of it, so... Oh, wow, okay, okay. It hits it a few times, the 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 bullet that came out of your, your tech blaster as it kind of bounces across, like it ricochets around around the corridor and, and bounces against this creep, whatever this thing's armor is, as you see it continues continue to dent into it. And then you hear... <laughs> Its footsteps begin to approach quicker. Um, you have another shot that you could take if you would like. Um, can you explain to me what the what's uh, the scatter would do? A uh, scatter is more for if there's like multiple en- enemies in front of you. Like yes, sh- but I did just see that things bounced around. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. So uh, yeah, it, it's it's like a shot. It's like a shotgun. So yeah, if you want. It would it would still right. be the, the same the same damage. Just this one will be. I'll have more chances to hit him. Yeah. So. So uh, you you activate like, the scatter the uh, scatter function on, on your tech blaster. Yes, and I fire at, at center, center mass. Okay. So one d twelve. You activate the stat the scatter function with your maneuver, and then you fire off. This one packs a little bit of a of a. Of a blast? Wait, what'd you get? Uh, 12 total. Total? Yeah. Um, 10 plus 2. I rolled a 2. Oh. So these 10. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... A uh, little shaky. Wait, isn't that a 13 because you have a plus 1 to heavy ranged? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's a 13. Okay. Yeah, uh, you still didn't quite hit center mass as you see uh, it almost looks like a spark com- comes off and you see uh, some kind of metallic arm extend in front of in front of its uh, in front of its actual uh, center center torso and it, it, it was able to block your 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 shards of of matter as it goes and <laughs> And rushes straight towards you. As the light is blinding for a moment, I need you to roll me a uh, perception check real quick. Four, so eleven. Eleven? You are able to see this thing come up right in front of and right in front of you and it goes to grab at your neck go ahead and roll me a defensive form now defensive form oh shoot i didn't write that down i don't have anything in that um It says several. Um, yeah, so there's either a dodge, a block, or a parry. I am assuming you probably wouldn't okay. want to go for a dodge. Because I'm assuming you have a high agility and not everything else. Wait. Don't want to use it? Uh, you you probably would want to use it. Do you have high agility? What, what's your highest physical yeah, attribute? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, dodge. That would be my highest. So yeah, yeah. Dodge would probably be the best. Use dodge. <laughs> Oh, nice. So that was a 12. Okay. So 22. 
You're no bonuses or anything. You are luckily able to dodge out of the way after this thing also rode a twelve, um, and you you're able to kind of back up a bit as you see it go to reach out towards towards your throat, and then you see it go uh, for a an uppercut straight into your chest. Another uh, An- dodge attempt. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, that's a six plus ten, sixteen. You're able to dodge out of the way. This thing isn't isn't very fast. And now, now that you're able to see where it, where it's at, it looks like all the lights around it is are starting to flicker and then uh, shut off. And. Um, uh, this thing looks like some kind of robotic organism. And you see as it turns its head towards you, its mouth gapes open, and you see oil begin to leak out from it, and it looks like its its mouth has, like, sharp, sharpened, uh, metallic teeth, and, and rows of, and rows of, of different gears in, inside that almost look like the, the teeth are swirling inside of its throat. That sounds lovely. Its eyes are um, are bright white. And you see it. Um go ahead and roll some attacks or defense if you would like. Whatever you want to do on your turn. For it is um, your turn. Yeah, I'd like to point my Rifle right in that gaping hole of his. Okay. And I think um, I don't know mechanically if it would make a difference, but yeah, just shoot down there, eat lead. Um. Where's my pole? All right. Feel free if if you would like to try and. Fire into this thing's mouth, gaping mouth. Uh, ten plus a uh, ten plus one, so twenty-one. Twenty-one. You go and you you go to fire directly in, in into its mouth, and you see it. Ah, it, it goes. It goes and lets you do it. And as that happens, it chomps down onto your onto your weapon. Uh, go ahead and roll me a. Go ahead and roll me a uh, a straight agility. Just just twelve plus your yeah, uh, the just d- straight agility. Yeah, just yeah. straight agility. Twelve plus ten, fourteen. Fourteen. You're able to pull your gun out before it chomps down on on, on your on your gun. When you fire the shot inside of his mouth, it looked like it didn't do anything. Oh. oh. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and you see it and it's like uh what are you gonna do you have you have another form you can use and then you also have uh, a maneuver as well uh, so, uh right where's the truth Oh, I see what you did. Oh, well, that's nice. I just opened up your races because I didn't read up my. Got anything you want to do? Uh, sorry, um, I'm going to have to, does this thing look fast? It doesn't seem fast. From, from what you've noticed <sighs> of it, it doesn't seem like it's fast. All right, uh, how far away is the computer, um, well, the bridge? 
The bridge is probably about... Let me actually check the map real quick. Uh, you're right, you're right by that corner area that you were still standing at. Um, the bridge yeah. is about 30 feet away. But this thing is next to you, so it would get an opportunity attack on you if you go to run away. Ah, uh, okay. And I can't, yeah, I wouldn't be able to use a field. You have a maneuver, so you could use a field. Okay. Wait, but that would uh, mean I can't move. No, you can. You you can still move. Oh, I can do both. Yeah. Um. All right then. I think I'll use the awarding field. So okay. that's a plus. What was it? Plus five. Uh. Ar uh yeah. I do armor. I remember exactly what it did. You, you you ranked it up fully, right? I believe you upgraded it fully. Did I? No, I think I I stuck with the uh... with the armor rating because it, it it would only give you the armor rating, which is fine. Yeah. Okay, well, if you, you go with quick action, you, you go onto your forearm and you activate the, the warding field as you see a, uh, what looks like a, some kind of armored shielding appears on, on your armor and you go to run? Yes. Okay, it's going to make an attack against you. Feel free to roll dodge. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Damn it. That's a six plus. I don't know if that's good for me or good for you. <laughs> uh, so six plus ten. So sixteen. You dodge out of the way and you're able to get over to uh, to the doorway. If you would like, you can spend more stamina to get inside. Uh, it costs it costs four stamina to move five feet. Um. He, uh, okay, where's my stamina? So, and you said five? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, she has six left. Uh, am I able to speak? Okay. Uh, yeah, you are. Um. Just a quick sentence. What are you trying to get out? Yeah, AI, pre prepare to shut the door. Uh, sorry, AI, prepare to shut the door on my mark. All right, you you say so, and then uh, you hear <laughs> the robot gets about uh about two like right to the door as it as it rushes over to you. Uh, what are you gonna do? Um. Am I able to prep an action? Uh, you are. Okay, so the, the moment it reaches out and crosses the threshold of the door, I'm, that's when I say mark. All right. I'm going, guess that would take a... Um, no, wait, no, because that's a reaction. Or a that, reaction. That would, that would take up your movement, your, your free movement. Okay. So you, you, you go to do that? Yeah. As it reaches, it, it reaches the threshold of the door. Uh, you say you yell out "Mark" to the to the AI as the door goes to shut, and it shuts right onto this this thing's arm. As it shuts onto the arm, roll. To see how strong this door is. I roll or you roll? I will roll. Okay. That's <laughs> like I don't think I have the stats of the door. <laughs> 14, 19, 20. You see the thing arms, uh, arm gets dented in and it looks like it's starting to kind of uh, 
continuously get hit. The, the, the door keeps slamming against this thing as it's trying to break through and grab onto you. And now this creature is going to try to break through the door. Just like before, it starts to try to slam on the door and it's beginning to dent through the door, but uh, it is not breaking through. The door is, is pretty heavily jammed right now. Um, what are you going to do? <laughs> is there still a gap in there? There is still a gap. It has its arm there, but the door continues to slam slam against the arm, and it looks like the door is denting it to a point where the arm might be amputated. I'm going to help. You're going to help? That long. <laughs> I want to shoot the arm. Okay, you, you go up yeah. and you go to start shooting it? <laughs> yeah. How close are you doing this? Um, I'm... Shoot, what's uh what kind of measurements do I use? Uh feet. I'm gonna sit on the far far side of let's just say right hand of the door. Okay. Cause that it was like a uh two squares, right? Yeah, uh you so. uh, if you're on the if you're on the right side of the door Where well, are you doing it like as if you're facing in from inside the the bridge. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, if you're on the right, okay. if, you, if you're on the right, if you're on the left side, it would be on. It, it would be where the AI computer system is. But if you're on the right side, no, then... I want to stay away from. I want to stay away from him. Okay, so you, you're you're over so... there, and you go to aim directly at the arm. Go ahead and shoot twice. So that's a ten. Uh, that's a D twenty. We're not rolling those. <laughs> There's my other D12. Yeah, I just rolled a uh, 16. A 16? Uh, so that's a 10. No, 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 sorry. I was making a joke uh, about oh. D20s having higher than 12. Uh, so that's a 10 plus 11, so 21. Then I rolled a, a 2, so that's a 13. So a 21 and a 13. You hit on both of them. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. No, the second one does bounce off of of its arm, and I need you to roll a dodge uh, check. Okay. But but first, go ahead and roll so damage. So that's uh. Okay, good. So that's a uh, one, one, two, and four. Fuck. So that, a total of eight plus. Just uh, wait. That would be one plus for each shot. shot. Yeah, it would be, be one damage roll for each shot. So it'd be technically a total. So that'd of... be a total of ten. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you you f- f- fire it off, and you see the arm t- t- begin to kind of break down from the damage of both your shots as as well as the door slamming. But the second shot that you fired off, you see the bullet begin to f- f- scatter around the room, and then you see it f- 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 go straight into the AI. Uh, uh, panel over in the corner. Oh shit! And it, you see it, and you see the arm gets chopped off finally by the door, as the the door is sealed shut. And the slams on the on the door um, cease. And you hear, and it almost sounds like everything has stopped. You are there. Everything is quiet. What do you do? Taking a few breaths. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! And I run towards the console, and as you run uh, towards the console, you see the arm on the ground. It begins to turn, 
and then hop up on on it onto its fingers. On it. <laughs> go ahead and roll me. A, I stomp on it. Go go ahead and roll me a bra- stomp on it. Stick in Isaac like Isaac from Dead Space. <laughs> roll. <I bet. laughs> Uh, Roll me a brawl check, please. Uh, is that just strength? I don't um, think. It, yeah, it I don't would have be a strength. Yeah, it, so that's just strength. It'd be a strength. Yeah. Roll. Oh my gosh, I should not use this dice. Sevens look like ones. Uh, <laughs> seven plus six, so thirteen. Thirteen. You are unable to stomp on it as it <laughs> begins to crawl around and go, and it seems to start to crawl over to the main consoles on the ship. I'm going to shoot it, I guess. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll a, a shot directly at it. Six, so plus 11. 17. 17. This thing is quick as it is able to jump out of the way of, of your shot and it j- jumps onto one of, one of the chairs and then it jumps onto the console and it begins to, to like kind of scurry across the... The entire bridge. Uh, what are you gonna do <laughs> now? That's on the computer Chase system. It <laughs> Chase it down and grab it like a and throw it against the uh, door side of the wall. Okay. Uh, with this, I would like you to roll a brawl check, but add agility instead. So it just probably be a straight okay. agility if that's the case. Yeah. So four plus ten, fourteen. Fourteen. You're rolling a lot of fours today. I'm not- I know. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. In fact, I'm about to retire this this dice. Uh, uh, as you're as you're it. running around and you're and you're trying to catch this thing, uh, it it is not. It is too quick, and you see, it is clicking on certain buttons as, as it's jumping around around you, and you're trying to and you're trying to catch it. It's not. It's not trying to attack you, okay. but it's trying okay. to do something to this to the ship. Can I figure out what that is? Uh, go ahead and do I see. Go ahead and roll me. Um, uh, do you have the analyze knowledge? No. Go ahead and roll me. Did, no. Roll me a perception check. Oh no! That's a one. So. Well, that's why I rolled uh, I had a total of five. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it, this thing is too quick to be able to to see what exactly it's doing, but it's going from from systems to systems. And is there an emergency shut off? Uh, go ahead. There, you know that there there should be. Go ahead and roll me a a computer's check. To remember yeah, something what, I'm good at. To remember where it, where it would be at. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <yay. laughs> I told you I'm only good at one thing. One so, thing and one thing only. Computers. So that's uh fourteen plus eight. Eight's what I rolled. Um that's uh twenty-two. You know that that the the emergency shutoff is up by where the captain's chair is. Well, that's where I go to. Uh, you and it's a race to. Uh, sh- you you go over to it and you see a a biometric scanner there. Son of a. Bitch. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna put your hand there? Do Do I know uh, any real negative repercussions or? You not sure. Uh, other than God, I don't really if, have a choice uh, an emergency shut off would probably turn off the life support systems as well. I do have an environmental yes, that suit, is true. just to remind you. So yeah, so I should be fine in the short term. And your your armor is rank um, is rank four, right? Um, I believe that's what it is. Oh, I did write that. Yeah, it's, it's rank four. Okay, so yeah, your your environmental would last for four hours, so you'd have to get the life support on within four hours. Oh, uh, this is... <laughs> I'd do it. You're going to do it? 
Do it. Okay, you you go and place your hand onto the biometric scanner, and you see it it scans your hand, and uh, you begin to hear a the ship begins to charge this electrical field around everything, and it looks like the hand has finished whatever it's doing, and it's and it's just sitting there on one of the chairs as you take your bi- you take the the scan, and then the scan uh it, it scans you, and and it. It says, "Welcome, Liam." And then you see a like the the console for the for the captain appear, and you go to press on the emergency shutoff. Yes, you do so, and as it, it you click on it, it everything shuts off, all the lights turn off, and then. Oh, <laughs> and then you see like, Throw that, uh, uh, emer- like the emergency like power for for all the lights begin to do, 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 turn turn back on, and the hand is gone. I'm guessing that's a perception check. Yep, for the room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're hiding from a hand. <laughs> It's a cat and mouse. Uh, <laughs> six plus four, so ten total. You... The one time I don't put points in perception. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot see where this hand went. Uh, go to. Uh... I want to my back against the wall. Right now, the door is is sealed shut. The AI was able to seal it shut before it got yes, destroyed. Yes, but I I believe there's a mysterious hand in the room. <laughs> yeah. I want my <laughs> move to the my um, back to against the wall and search again. I guess. All right. Uh, yeah, you you continue to search again. Um, as you continue to search, you cannot find it. it it's not in here. Uh, but you hear... Something, little... something happened, but as you're looking around, it takes you probably about a good solid like 10 minutes to find a little a little area where it looks like the, a little panel in, in the wall was taken off and it looks like it went through some kind of vent. Okay. Um, I go back to the main uh, captain's council. Okay. I'm guessing, well, would it turn on? I did turn it off, the whole thing off. You did turn the whole thing off. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm probably going to have to go back to the engine room. Um, uh, let's go to the AI council. Is what's the damage on it? Uh, it looks like the the console where you you were you you would actually communicate with the AI is completely destroyed. Is the AI something I can take out? Yes. You can you can transfer it to a a hard drive and and then uh, and then upload it to something else. Carry him around. Um, wild question: Is the codex a viable option? Uh, the codex would uh to 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 upload an AI into the codex. You would have to probably upgrade the the hardware to the codex. Okay. Because AI has a lot of a lot of data. Yeah, it's a uh, big chunkers. Okay. Um, well, I don't want to leave him alone. Uh, 
there's not a hard drive I can take, is there? You you still have all, all the all the tools that you made last session. So you could potentially try to repair this. Okay. Yeah. All right, I leave my buddy there for now. I can, I've already established I can communicate him remotely. Mm -hmm. Um, there better be an emergency open doors on these things. There is one on on the (laughs) captain's chair. Okay, so I pull the lever or the emergency switch to open up the bridge door. Okay, you and then you hear you uh you hear a on the AI system over in the computer and the door has not opened. Ah uh, what's what's in the hallway? And you uh you see on the on the console of the AI system it changes to a video feed outside and it shows the robot is just standing there waiting at the door. Oh, I thought the door opened. No. The door the door has been shut. It and it's still okay. shut. Even when even when you when you switch when you flip the switch to try to open it, it didn't open. It seems like the AI is, is holding it closed. I'm going to get out there. And it begins to type some kind of text, and you see it reads, too dangerous. You're not wrong. (laughs) But what, what, uh, do you have any suggestions then? Wait. I have four hours, don't you know? Perhaps same plan as little hand. Okay. Um, schematics on, on ventilation. You see it pulls up a schematics and you see the little hand probably went down over to where the the cargo holds are. Um, and then there's also a, an upper ventilation that goes directly to the drive core room. And that is mm-hmm. right above the captain's chair. All righty. I think we found our path. Um... How do I, how do I turn back on the engine? Is that in the drive core? Uh, if you want to turn back on the engine, you'd have you probably should do it manually through the drive core. You're, uh, if you would like, you can go to the computer to the computer consoles and try to see exactly. Well, maybe if you could see what the hand did. Not quite sure. Yeah, I might as well look at that. All right. Uh, as you go over to it, I would like you to roll me a piloting with intellect, please. Piloting. I don't think I have any of that. Or you can roll a navigation, too. <laughs> As we establish, I don't have any of that. <laughs> so let's just do a straight int. All right. Right? Uh, I don't know what uh, piloting would require. Yeah, it, it just, just a straight int. So oh, that's 7 plus 12. That's a 19. 19. As you look at this... Looks like it was trying to plot some kind of coordinate path somewhere. 
but you're not quite um, sure. It, you you turned off the system stuff before it could fully finish what it was doing, or it, it, it seemed like it had finished, but the system's turned off. You're not sure if it's so. It's, it's so it might be the full coordinates. Yes, some some type of coordinates, but you're not familiar with them. Actually, when you look at them, it, it's hard to even remember anything about how navigational plotting works. Hey, I buddy, you want to chart that down? <laughs> sure thing, buddy. <laughs> Glad you're getting on track there. <laughs> And uh, what what is the plan? Are you going to try to go through the vent? Yeah, the one to the drive core. Okay, you you get up onto the captain's chair, and I would like you to uh, roll me a mechanics check, simple mechanics check. Won't be too hard as you go the, to take out How the, do I, the, the mm, panel to like. That's a one, so. Plus 12, plus 2, 14, oh, yeah, 15 you, total. E- easily you're able to, e- even with a 1, you, you, you're you just like, how do, how do I do this? He's just start doing it without even thinking. <laughs> and you're able to pull off the panel and, and set it to the side. And uh, you're going to have to jump for this. So I would like you to roll me That's, uh, an acrobatics and then acrobatics. An, an athletics right after that. Back so that. That's a- Two. So this is acro. That's eight plus ten, eighteen. All right. You're able to jump up and, uh, and grab onto it, and now you have to pull yourself up. So athletics. Yes, twelve. Nice. So twelve plus six, so eighteen. Yeah, you're able to grab on, pull yourself up, and then kind of get in, and now you have to army crawl through this entire shaft. Oh man, I got chunky arm. This is a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Um, can I make a stealth roll on that? Yes, yes, you may. Okay. So that's an eight, eighteen total. Eighteen total. Yeah, you're going really quietly. A few a few dents along the way, but it's not too bad. You feel like you're being quiet enough. You do end up seeing there is a vent like right underneath you and you're able to see past past them and you look you look down and you see the the robot is still standing there. Doesn't seem to notice you. Okay, keep moving. Um, AI buddy, is the drive, uh, drive core room sealed? Affirmative. Okay, good. Keep it that way. So as you so continue, I continue moving, on my way, as you continue moving. You see there is a... Let me actually look at the map real quick. <laughs> there is a... Uh, there is a right turn. As as you are taken down this, this right path, it forks uh, two ways, right and left. Uh, from where you are, it feel, you feel like maybe you should probably go left. To the drive core room, if you want to go that way. But yeah, you also know that well, uh, right is where the the com the com station is. Well, my goal is the drive core. Yeah. So drive core, going left. Yeah. Okay, you go and begin to start moving leftward. And then you see. Could I, while, while I'm doing this, can I? I'm trying to think. Am I familiar with any machines like that? Like that? 
Uh, go ahead and roll me a lore check. Uh, lore. Eight plus eight, or twelve, so that's a twenty. Uh, memories are difficult, but you do get a sense that, yes, you, on your home world, uh, where your family is from, there were robots kind of like that, but not to the design of whatever, whatever this thing is. They, they were mainly known as like frames where you you upload conscious minds or like sin frames into them. They're called sins. Hmm. But this thing is an entirely different beast altogether. You don't know. It, it, it's like a walking beast of a robot. That's for sure. Um, but as you're, as you're Ooh, going down, have you, as you're going down this path, you do see, down below, uh, roll me a perception check. Oh, you know I do good on these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's my magic number. <laughs> Is it a four? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's uh, eight. Uh, you're... Not able to see quite well inside here, but it looks like the same uh, car- cargo uh, bay that you were in when you were trying to look for that one item that is that that is in the manifest, but isn't there when you look at it. Um, but yeah, that's beneath you. And then you see up ahead is a forking path that goes straight and then to the left. To the left is where the drive core room is, and the, and straight is where the pod bay is. Okay. Um, continue on to the drive. Okay, you continue moving, and as you reach to the drive core room, you see the ventilation set shaft. Uh, it has a. It actually has a an um, a little like a little stairwell thing that you can actually go go and walk down. Um, and upon doing so, you're able to kind of get down into the drive core room, and you see all the doors are, are still shut, and the drive core is not active. All right. Um... I think of a way I can deal with this robot. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> There's nothing I can use for like welding, even if it's a makeshift in this room. Uh, you did make a tool to to do so when you fix the comms. Is there a way to really overcharge that thing? To overcharge the drive core? No, no, no. We're oh. not blowing <laughs> uh, my my probably little ch- torch. I don't. I can't imagine it being too big. Uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't be that that much. Uh, but you could potentially try to figure out a way to. Uh, to upgrade, like take 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 it apart, take the torch apart, and to try to upgrade your um your tech blaster. See if it could do like radiant hmm. radiant bursts. Yeah, I'll I'll try to do that <laughs> if you want to. If if you want to try, but I I need you to roll me a crafting check. Oh, this could be so bad. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. I mean, the gun wasn't doing much. Yeah, this this. Could, if I can melt the fucker, this could be. This could be good. So that's a 
9 plus 14. That's a uh, uh, 23. 23? Yeah, 9 plus 14. Because 2 from craft and my intellect. All right. You t- 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 begin to take it apart. Um, and then take apart your, your tech blaster and you go to try to, um, fix up the, the spots where you're going to, where you're going to implant the actual, um, the actual flame and try and try to turn it into some kind of beam so that it could do radiation damage. And as you're doing this, it kind of you you go to you go to change the like turn up the dial to try to try to uh, fix it to to sync up with the actual uh w- with the actual trigger of of the gun and when you do so it kind of bursts out a a, a bit of flame and you take four points of radiation damage. What's your health at? Did I do that right? So uh, I do believe that is a five. That's what I have written down. Okay. Uh, what's, what's your fortitude score? Uh... Board is four. Four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you're four plus one, so five. Yeah, you're at one. Uh, you, you see, it, it singes your hand as as that happens, and you you you're just trying to hold on to yourself to your uh to j- just you're trying to stay around as the pain is immense. Go ahead and roll me an endurance check. Alright, um, I do have endurance fortitude, so that's a 3 plus 4, uh, 7. 7 total? Uh, yeah, total. I rolled a 3 and it's a plus 4. You're, you're struggling to stay awake as you see the your your hand is actually starting to bubble up your the skin is starting to bubble up on, on your hand and it's starting to grow uh it, you feel like you have some kind of radiation poisoning from whatever you just did <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need some kind um, of some kind of med wave soon yeah um do you have a med wave? Do you have a med pack? I, sh- I should. I came with a standard pack, right? Yeah, yeah. If you have if you have a med pack, then you should have med waves in your pet in your pack. Um, yeah. Uh, well, I have a shoot. Where is it? Oh yeah, I shut down my stupid computer, so I closed it. Let me find it. At least I know where it is now. Oh wow! Yeah, if, I'm pretty sure you got. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, I do have a med pack. Okay, yeah, you're that, able to. That comes with my. You're able to pull out one of the med waves and just kind of put it like have the waves, uh, go straight onto your your hand as. The boils begin to subside, and you begin to heal yourself. You heal back. No. You heal back five okay, five points of health. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can go above, right? Yeah. Uh, technically, you could you could use all of the med waves, which which would be fifteen total health. But well, I can't go above my max. Yeah, you can't go above above your max now. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, maybe I should, maybe maybe I should uh, test things a little more thoroughly <laughs> next time. So, uh, what's the damage on my gun? Uh, 
The damage, it, it, it didn't, you didn't damage your gun, you just damaged your hand. So thankfully your, your gun is it's still intact. Uh, the, the radiation from, from the, the little like fire burst thing that you have there, it's, it seems like it, it didn't do much damage to the, to the hole of it. So it, it's still intact. You could potentially try again. All right. Yeah, let's, let's. Let's keep working on it. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll me another craft check, please. Because my guy learns. <laughs> uh, that's a five plus fourteen. Um, that's a nineteen. As you're kind of going about it a little bit slower and more carefully, you're able to kind of. Get it inside, and uh, it seems like it's it's holstered in there. And you clip the tech blaster down so that it's closed, and you think you got it working. You're not sure. You're gonna have to test and it I... though. Uh, but if you test it, it could make a noise. As... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I... Um, yeah, uh, did I not? Uh, as I sit there, I actually do say this. Did I not unload the thing? <laughs> as in, did I keep it keep it loaded as <laughs> as I was modifying the dumb thing? I would assume you probably unloaded it, right? You're not that stupid. I mean, no, you, no, you're not that stupid. I, I would say you would uh, you would have unloaded it. No, but I'm a little, a little. <laughs> you're a little clumsy. Weird. Clumsy, you know. Yeah. Uh, I just brushed that aside. Um, okay, so I may or may not have a tool. You may or so... may you may or may not have a. A photon blaster now, or you may or may not have a grenade. You know, one or the other. Either or can be useful. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is the plan now? As you are, you, you have you have just spent about like two hours and like working on this thing inside this drive core room. Hey, buddy, you still got eyes on that bot? Affirmative. Okay. Keep uh, keep me up to date if that thing decides to move, or if you see the hand again. Update. Yes. Or is that just it confirming? Movement. Cargo bay. One. Oh, that's the one you were talking about. Um, could I get a live feed of that, or negative? Hmm. Um. Apologies, buddy. Uh, that gets me every time. <laughs> um, I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Buddy. I'm not your bro, bro. <laughs> um, shoot. Uh, what do I want to do in here? Uh, what a, am I able to partially turn on the 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 ship? Uh, the drive core. Yeah. You could probably turn it on manually. Uh, what I really want to do is, um, disconnect the, I guess the thrusters, not the engine. 
So you don't because that you, thing you, was di- You don't want the thrust. I just want to turn on life support. Yeah, I, I just want the life support, honestly. Okay. Uh, you're not you're not quite you're not a hundred percent sure if you can turn on life support from inside the drive core room, but maybe the AI knows. Hey, uh, buddy, do you... I think we just found out its name. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot, where, where was I? Um, do you know how to turn on life support? Affirmative. Just the life support? All systems on you feel like it 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 doesn't know how to form formulate a full sentence yeah but hmm. then again you're not sure if you can formulate a full a full sentence either <laughs> <laughs> Not one that makes sense. <laughs> right, um, am I able to disconnect the thrusters? Affirmative. Okay, how do I do that? Activate drive core. Deactivate thrusters. Do you have um, instructions in the database to show me how to do that? Sending instructions. You hear on your codex. There we go. And you see, it shows a detailed a detailed instruction path to through the drive core, and it shows all the schematics as well. Um, and this will give you advantage on your roll, which will give you. Do you have talent in in mechanics? Yes. Okay. Uh, then you have a plus. You have an additional plus three then on your roll. All right. Is that a three plus three on top of the yes, r- yes. my rank on, on top of everything? Okay. So that okay, so yeesh. Eh, that's going to be needed. Uh, that's a five, so plus five, ten, twenty-two. Okay, you're. You take it, it's going to take some time to do this, um, and it's going to come up to nearing the end of your of your uh, life support. So you're going to have to do this quickly, um, and as you're going and kind of working on this. It gets around, like to around like fifty. Your 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 armor kind of alerts you to the fact that your life support is is going away in fifteen minutes. I kind of shrug it off, trying to ignore it, so okay. I can focus on my work. Go ahead and roll me a discipline will check then. Oh, where's my discipline? That's just will, because I don't have that. Why would my guy have that? Christmas is crap. There's no discipline here. <laughs> uh, six plus four, ten. All right, you continue to move. Uh, you you try to ignore it, but it's like it, it, it's like a countdown in your head, and you can't just it, it's it's constantly there. And your heart it begins to race a bit. You, you you feel sweat dripping down your your forehead, and you continue to work. 
And then you hear a slam against the door. Oh, that's... Body! Movement. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, How close am I? Uh, you are you are close to, to finishing up. You 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 just need to put all all the panels back together. Do I really need to do that, or do I, can I just turn this thing on? I'm I am willing to do duct tape here. <laughs> uh, you could uh, you could try turning it on now if you would like. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> What's my worst that can happen? Okay. Uh, you go over to the to the lever and you go to pull it down and then exit the chamber. As this happens, you hear and you see the drive core begin to charge up and uh, you look over to the panel and it shows all the systems begin to to turn on and the door begins like you hear the door getting slammed on and uh you see as the systems are turning on you see there there are buttons next to them like little little switches that you can turn them off as they're being turned on um you want to turn off the thrusters yes you go in turn off the, th- the thrusters. As that happens, you see the drive core. And you see these, it almost looks like this this uh, radiant burst begins to fling out to, to the walls and begins to carve uh, like it almost looks like it's beginning to melt the walls surrounding surrounding the drive core uh, room specifically. Uh, hmm. You are not inside of it, but you think that if it's if it's like this for a long period of time, it could potentially melt down the entire uh, the, the entire protective barrier that is there. Uh, what happens if I flip the switch again? If you go to flip the lever, you, you're going to have to go inside. Oh, actually, no. You, you're, there, there is a lever outside. You could flip the switch to turn it off if you like. At least try to turn it off. Yeah, let's uh. The but the thrusters have been, have been turned off, and the life support has been turned on. All right. Um. And uh, the doors uh, and so... the, and the doors are still being slammed on. Is there still that beam? There are multiple beams now. It's starting to get pretty hectic inside there. Are you gonna um, flip it off? Flip the whole thing off? Uh, the ju- just the drive core. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Are, are you gonna flip the drive core off, or would that turn off life support as well? Uh, you're not. You're not entirely sure, but you don't think so. You think this is this is the lever directly to the drive core. The other the other thing that flipped turned off everything was at the captain's chair. So you could just try turning off the drive core itself. Yes. Yes. Okay. You go and f- go to flip <laughs> it off. I know. I know. I found. I I sound very uh, <laughs> <a> ten- confident. <laughs> You go and flip it off. As you go to, to flip it off, you see the energy beams, the, the drive core begins to... And it's still going. And you hear on your on the AI, error, error, error. Drive core unstable. You can see that. Um... Recommend escape pod recommend escape pod I don't think that's an option here 
What are you gonna do? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need to turn that off. Yeah. Is there a? Uh... Um, <laughs> Don't set uh, it. It does. It does look <laughs> like like the the energy beams that are extending out of the drive court did did dwindle a bit, but they're still going. Is there a manual override in there? I'm guessing. I'm yes. guessing it would be in there. Yes, it is in there. It is the lever that you pulled the first time to turn it on. Well, let's get back. You're gonna do it. Back in there. Okay. Is not gonna be happy? Yeah. You turn on your uh, environmental. Let's play this game. Okay. As you go to try to open it up, you see Buddy. Uh, uh, <laughs> says, "No, Liam, do not go in." You want us both to be dead? You are my buddy. Yes, but if I don't do this, we're all gonna be scrap. <laughs> okay, go in. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Let's, uh... You go and... Let's play a little bit of Frogger. Open it up. As you open it up, I would like you to roll me a dodge check as you see a beam <laughs> goes to extend out through the door. Does it line up to that door? Like, that is being bashed in right Yes, now? it does line up to that door. Okay, I'm going to first do a dodge before I do what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what you're doing. <laughs> uh, so this is the dodge. All right. It's a. F uh, oh wait. Um. I don't have anything in that. So, uh, fourteen. Fourteen to dodge. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Let me see how this goes. What's your... What's your armor hits? Um, where would that be exactly? I don't think I wrote that down. It would be in your armor stats. It'd be on the first page. Like, ne next to the defensive forms. Yeah. Uh, high tech set, rank quality, heavy function. Um... That's fine. If, um... Here's the armor plate. So, ar armor H hits? Check. You have, you have H-Tech armor, right? Yeah, H-Tech. So, and it's rank 4, quality 1. Uh... Is... It says 2. Oh, it's quality 2? That's what it says. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. H tech. I forgot that H tech is, is higher quality. Um, but yeah. So then that means that it's four, six, so twelve. What's your parry bonus? You have no parry bonus, huh? No. Okay. So twelve. Cool. Sounds good. Oh. oh. No, it doesn't. Uh. So you that take. Sounds even worse. So your your armor hits is a twelve, which which means it negates it negates twelve points of damage, and you take thirteen points of ra of radiation damage. So you only take one point of radiation damage as you feel it <laughs> pulse into your body, and it goes <laughs> extends out straight towards the door, as you are able to get around to the corner where the lever is, and you can pull the lever. Uh, but uh, you see I, the but, the string of energy is leading towards the door, and it's and it begins to kind of cinch through the door uh, at a quicker pace than uh, than I, before. <laughs> uh, buddy, open that door! Don't ask, just open it. The door begins to open, and you see a slamming fist as you see it. 
goes straight into the chest of whatever this thing is, and it... (laughs) And it begins to try to, like, move out of the way of whatever this energy pulse is, but the energy is actually flinging straight into it. Uh, What are you doing? I want to shoot him. (laughs) Okay. I'm, I'm right next to the switch, and I'm shooting him. Okay, go ahead and, uh... So, this is with the gun that you made? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Oh, things are already in All hell right. in a handbasket. Okay, uh... As you go... As you go to... Fire it, you feel the trigger, and... As you, as you feel the trigger a little bit, it has... A, it, it's, it's harder to pull, and... As it's harder to pull, you feel a you hear a come from it, like some kind of energy is is charging up inside of it. Uh, go ahead and roll me a uh, straight intellect, please. Uh, so that's a seven plus twelve, so that's a nineteen. It sounds like whatever the. Uh, Whatever you did, this might explode in your hand. It has a high. Pulled the, fully pulled the trigger. You haven't fully pulled the trigger. I grunt. Uh, obviously, I well. Yeah, grunt. Stop. Um, stop pull. Like. Stop. Stop that. Okay. Um. What's happening to the robot? The robot is continue is con- it's it's almost like a witch bolt uh, a witch bolt in D and D where where the the bolt is continuing to to attack him and he can't get a he he seems to not try be trying to get away from it but he's trying to block it and he's trying to break through it he is starting to gain a little bit of ground but it's starting to melt through his his armor. Is there anything around? No, that that won't work. Um, uh, I would like you to make another dodge check, please. As you see, another yeah, another I... energy beam is starting to come straight towards you. Uh, nice. Ten plus ten, twenty. Twenty. You're able to dodge out of the way of this one. Uh, you're still at the lever. What are you gonna do? I I, I this is a game of chicken now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're just gonna, (laughs) um, I think I just gotta kind of wait to see if, uh, the robot either succumbs to the laser or, so I just kind of prep myself to watching the other beams to make sure that they're not about to hit me. Okay, uh, you may roll another dodge check. That's another seven. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen? You're able to dodge out of the way of- no. Yes, yes. You're able to dodge out of the way of of another one that seems to go straight through the, the, the door and go straight at the- the robot. Now it's taking on two a, a larger beam. How's he looking? Uh, he's looking rough. Uh, it looks like he's like it, it's it's about to take him out. Um, do you want it to be? Do you want the thing to be taken out? <laughs> because you see yes. it. You see another beam coming for you. Go ahead and roll another dodge check. Uh, we're slowly going down here. <laughs> That's a 16. 16. You're able to do- barely dodge out of the way of, of this of this third beam as it whoosh, begins to r- rush straight over and you see the energy whoosh, begins to pulse over towards the robot and it has to take two more...
there you are. Cool. Two. Yeah, you see it <laughs> pulses out, and you see all the beams now are are directly at at like going straight into this robot. And as it, it, it you see, it, it begins to kind of molt down into 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 this like this magma as it begins to kind of. It, it looks like it's melting. I'm melting, but yeah. Uh, as as it's melting, you see the energy from the drive core is beginning to deplete, and it. Um, I'll pull the switch now. You. F- switch the lever and it turns off and all the all the beams turn off and you see the the robot is on its knees one arm that has been torn off of it off of its body um but it looks like it's it has its head down no light coming from it What do you do? Uh, let's slowly approach it. You slowly approach it. And as you look at it, it has a hole seared through its chest. And its own drive core has been completely obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, um, hey buddy, what's the situation, uh, on the ship? Drifting. On course. For plotted coordinates. Unknown coordinates. Uh, ETA? 600 cycles. Ha. Huh. That's, uh, six centuries, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's... <laughs> that was, uh... Okay. Useful. Um. And all right, let's. As you try to figure out what you're gonna do, I think we should end it there. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a. <laughs> you need, you need sure a game, game plan right for next. <laughs> yeah, a bit. I thank you for listening to A New Squad. Be sure to check out the official New Age livestream, streaming bi-weekly Tuesdays on Twitch. A link will be found in the description of this episode. And if you want to be reborn yourself, you can subscribe as a Chosen to access Chosen Creation and exclusive Codex entries. Until next time, travelers. Be safe. Stay safe. And if death comes to you, May you be reborn in power.